Greeting, citizens of the internet. I'm Static Buzz, and we're going to be back in making my RPG Maker MZZ game, Gaia's Disdain. And I've decided that what I need to do to get the game flow, to get the pacing, to get everything working the way that I want it, is to actually start making the areas and see how it feels to go through them. And to do that, I've created the outpost which you guys saw in a previous video and it's way too large it's just a default map if we go into edit you'll see that it's a outside map outpost nothing spectacular 60 by 60 it's really large and then I have the planes of the three and the planes of the three is the first area in the first area <laughs> And as you can see, there's planes of the area, area one, two, three. There's going to be a lake on the Mesa area. There's going to be a planes of the 304. And then there's going to be a two blood soaked grassland areas. So that's what we got going on there. Let's get back to the game. So to start, there's two ways I could do this. I could go over here. I could cut this and paste it or I could just go here and go set starting position player and then that'll get rid of it from over here and that's fine that's what we we want now I do have this event up here that I want to put on the player because it gives him one in all of his stats even though I'm gonna get rid of luck because luck is not luck I haven't changed that yet we're going to delete that line luck is a uh, gonna be humanity and uh, I'm hoping that it's not used anywhere that I'm not seeing I think you have to code it in so I'm gonna use that as kind of a morality I shouldn't say morality because there's no wrong way to play this game but there's one way that leans towards humanity and one way that leans towards something else alright so anyways we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that but you can see that all I did was I changed parameters on this and then I turn switch on switch I turn switch a on and then two I said if self switch go to event two which doesn't do anything because I didn't want this to repeat every time they went onto the map so you set switch to a and then that way the next time they come into the map it says all right switch a is on do this and this is nothing so we don't want it to do anything on the next time it goes in the map so we're gonna go ahead and cut that as well and put that you can put it anywhere it doesn't really matter it's um, you can, I'm gonna put it up here because this is probably gonna have unpassable terrain and there's going to be because this is an outpost so there'll be a gate probably up here somewhere and I'll just make sure that that event is somewhere that the player can't get to and run over and even though I won't do anything because the switch will be on anyways all right so now we have to go well how do we get from the plane from the outpost to the planes first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need something that indicates there's something different here so we're going to put two little brown spots up here placeholders don't get too into it and then we're gonna go over here we're gonna do the same thing kinda do it here so that you're off to the and it feels like you've gone up and now the map goes to the left alright then we're gonna go back and we're gonna say go back to the events See, this is the mapping one so this is where you put in your pretty stuff make the map look the way you want and then this is the event one which is kind of like the coding section of it so we're gonna go here we're gonna go quick event we're gonna transfer we're gonna transfer it to the planes of the three we're gonna go down this is the left one so we're gonna put it on the on the left one and then we're gonna hit OK and we're gonna hit OK and then we're gonna do another one for the right one uh, transfer and we're gonna say planes of the three right here okay direction retain that's fine all right so now let's go ahead and test that I do I like to test on everything because otherwise you run into trouble we don't want that 
All right, so let's test the right one first. And we ended up on the right one. Now if we go back down to the right one, there's nothing there. It's not going to do anything because we didn't say go back, right? So let's do that now. Let's go to the planes of the three. Actually, no, let's test the left one. Test everything. Test everything. All right, so we're going to go to left. And we end up on the left. We're good. All right, and we got a little name up there, planes of the three. We're going to fancify all that later on. All right, so now let's go to planes of the three. Let's go down here. Same thing. Right click. Quick event. Transfer to the outpost. And it's up. Too big. It's too big. It's too big. We're going to make this was the right one. So we're going to go there. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing for the left. Quick event. Transfer to the outpost. Oh, you know what? Let's delete that. Because I didn't put it on there. We're going to. It. I was trying to go to the outpost, 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 but uh, I clicked OK instead. All right, so now we should be able to go back and forth. That is the first step. All right, going to the right side, good. Left side or right side again, good. Oh, geez, my left and right are off. Right side, right side left side left side all right we're good we're good we got the first starting thing down all right so now here here comes the difficult part uh, I've got to figure out in my head how to do this because what I want I'm trying to think if it makes sense what I want to do is when you kill a creature, it drops a certain amount of nanites, nano little, they're nanites, right? They're little nanobots. And so let's say that it's a goblin, right? Not too bright, a little bit of strength zero charisma blah 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 right so each one of those will have its own type of nano nano bots and what i want is like a an elaborate dark soul system where it costs a hundred strength nanobots to increase your strength then it costs 150 then it costs 200 what, whatever the formula is going up so each time you increase your strength it requires more but I'm kind of worried that it'll do some that'll cause grinding later on and I want to keep the pacing good so for now until I have time to test that we're gonna keep it the way I have it where we just have the attribute potion that increases attributes by one mm. one attribute by one which we already have set up we've already got that in place so that's not a big deal all right so now we're gonna need some placeholder enemies here we've got the goblin I don't like the goblin we're not gonna use the goblin doesn't fit the aesthetics of the game and actually none of these really do uh, so I did this now if you guys get that reference then great if you don't then I'm sorry for you all right so these are ROUS's or rodents of unusual size and I couldn't find a rat picture, so we're using this until I can do my own art and do a rat. There really was no rodents. Uh, 
in here at all. That, that was the closest I could find. So we'll use that for now. It works. All right. So actually, you know what? I need to go back to that. I need to, it's a petite demon and they're missing the E at the end of petite, I believe. All right. So let's see if we can do a new event. And we're going to call this thorn. And the image, find that, probably not. Probably find a rodent in this one. See, I need to do my own art so that I can have everything match up. Because right now it's... You've got actors that look one way and enemies that look another way. So let's see here. Oh, what is this stuff? I added a bunch of things that I had paid for into my database. All right, let's see here. doesn't really matter which one we use I'm gonna go with none of these are close yeah, it looks like I got to start doing my own work artwork sooner than later so that's gonna be a project I'm gonna work on I don't know if you guys want to see that if you guys want to see that let me know go go through that process even though I'm not familiar with the process right now I mean I know how to draw I know how to do all that stuff it's just how do I get it into the game and all that stuff I'll have to figure that out as I go so that might be good for me to show you guys that so I'll go ahead and do that maybe not the drawing of the the rat and everything but alright let's go with uh, Sphinx all right, so what we want to do with this is make him move around, but also have it where if the player runs into him, there's a battle process. So we'll call this, ooh, did I not create a troop for it? All right, let's save that. We're good there. Let's go back to this troops. I did not create a group for it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add the rodent of unusual size. We'll start with one for now. We don't want to tax the player. He's by himself. Oh, that's the other thing. We need to go back here. There's another thing that we that I need to do because. He's not going to be in the group to start. So where was that? All right, actors. Cut. He's out. He's out. Now you're by yourself. And there are story reasons for that. I'm not going to go into it right now. All right. So now you're by yourself. We're good there. Let's go back to our event. That's not the event. The event is over here. All right. Did we do troops for this? We did, but we didn't call it. Uh, yes. mm, apply. Okay, that should be good there. Now we go back to here and we edit this. We should be able to. Alrighty, alrighty. And then we're gonna go here and we're gonna go new and we're going to. Make this thing move. How did I do that? I know I've done that. I just gotta. Let's 
let's see. No, it's not jump to label. Tell I haven't done this enough times to. There we go. Set movement around. There we go. Alright, move down. Thought there was some randomness in this somewhere. Move down, move down, move left, move left. Actually, let's go back to here and let's go. Move down, move down. Turn left, move left, move left. Turn right, turn right, move right, move right. Move up. And then turn right, turn right. Now let's see how that looks. Apply. Did I do wrong? Maybe I need to... Cut. Paste. All right, let's see if that fixes it. Putting the movement first as opposed to the battle. Oops, how did that happen? What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? Um. player no 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 this event this event okay that's where I messed up this event I didn't see that the first time I was there I know that why am I doing that all right let's go at least the players not auto mm. all right let's see if it even makes a does not even do the battle thing. So, trigger action button, player touch, um, auto run. Try the auto run, that should get it to move. Yeah, it's moving. Okay, but now we fought him from across the map. That's right, I gotta remember to give this guy a weapon. I don't remember how many hit points I gave this guy. He might not be able to beat him. That's another thing I wanna add is I wanna add a hit point bar underneath or something. Even if it's just percentage and you don't have the exact number, it will be helpful for the player to know where they're at in the fight. Alright, let's go back. And...
So can I have them move and still... there's a way to do this because I did this with talking the characters that were moving Pete movement wait for completion edit Let's remove this one and see if there's another option here, like if player touch. All right, let's go. Just look, 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 look. Auto run that's messing it up. Maybe parallel. Alright. Let's let's look at it. we got action button, which starts when the player processes the action. Player touch uh, in addition to buff starts when the player touches the event. Event touch, in addition to the above, starts when the event touches the player. Auto run starts when the event appears, which was when the map loads. Run cyclically while the event is present. That might be the one. All right, before we go on, let's go ahead and do another event here. Need is a chest of some sort. There we go. Chest, chest, coffin, crystal, chest. Where's my? There's gonna be like a, I thought there was yes, yeah, sci-fi chest. I like those. I like the black one. So, <clears throat> action button, yeah, we'll leave it there, and then we'll say new, alright, so what I want to do with this is I want to go, we're going to set control switch to A on no that isn't gonna work is it let's delete that what I want is it to open the dang chest change image change image there's got to be a change image somewhere on here Picture, so all right, change transparency, change. Da, 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 da. Change actor image. No, because that's the actual actor, actor. Let's go back. So what we're going to do is we're going to give him a bone spike club. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Let 
new. Alright, so we got that. Show animation. Here's what we use on it. Hold on, let's go. Let's cancel here, apply here. Let's go look at the one on the dev map because I don't remember exactly what I did. Edit. This event chest vanish. Okay, I must have created a new animation then. I really would like it to do is to show it opening. Show animation. That's fine, but that's really not what I want. All right, let's go back real quick here. Because what I did, it has to be right by what I want, right? So if I did erase event, edit, where is erase event? Exit event processing loop uh, branch common event label 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 the labels. Uh, where is erase event? Because it's got to be like right next to that. You would think erase event. What I wanted to do is go on to the next event. I want to create an event too and have it go right to that. Uh, let's see here if we can new event page. Let's go back here. Switch. Nope, it's not a switch. Cancel. Actor. Nope. Item. What does that do? Is that an easy way of giving them an item? No, because that would mean you'd pick the chest up and it be, was the item, which is not what we're doing here. All right, for now, this is not important. What is important is that we get a weapon and we go into the next area and do that. I forgot where I was at now. I was all right, wanting to test to see if, yeah, if we could still, if, if changing that to parallel, the event to parallel made it where we it moved and, all right, where did it go? Okay, why is it not? Oh. Trigger action. Auto run. Ugh. So many things to remember. All right, here we go. Oh, it's still not there. All right, what is wrong with this event? Edit. All right, fixed, same as character, action button. What is wrong with, all right, copy. 
delete paste edit do this the easy way why why make it hard right all right we're gonna go oh we're going to edit we're not going to give them an attribute potion we want those to be and actually this is going to be edit and yeah, we're going to want to delete new change weapon mm -mm 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 -mm. that other one was on the oh, oh geez why did I do that no 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 delete how do I new why there we go now that's up top all right now I need to edit this picked up a phone spiked clubby club all right testing <laughs> jeez <sighs> all right that worked let's make sure he's got the equipment now weapon bone spike club if we optimize we're good and takes his strength up to six so we we verified that the event when the map start works because he's got he had one stat and everything but luck all right, let's go see if we can fight this rodent of unusual size now. It's not working. Not working. All right, for now, we will edit it. I want it to move, but... Oh, you know what? Because we got rid of. We got rid of the battle processor, right? So it stopped. Uh, I think we did that and it didn't work before, right? Still not starting the battle sequence. All right, so we're just gonna edit it, and we're gonna get rid of all of this, and for now, and we're gonna make it where we'll say player touch. It starts the battle sequence. That's the main thing we want to test right now. I could sort out the movement stuff later. It's all about pacing and making it where. Equipment, come on, man. Get your stuff together. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. I see what just happened there. Okay. That's why they don't do too wide, do they? Alright, I got a fix for that, but we'll worry about that later. still there 
Yep, not what we wanted. So edit. Now we're gonna go here. We're gonna go new. Set self switch again, right? And then we're gonna go new event page. Self switch A. And basically, it's gone. Let's. Where are you? Oh man, I must be blinded. I can't see anything. Mm -hmm. Show animation. All right. This event. When it does is it makes it look like for now we'll do that there and then we'll go to the outpost and we'll do the same thing. Oh. said this is all just placeholder stuff mm. all right that's good for now let's go back to this and change is this one all right and let's test that again so the goal is to have kind of like spawn spots for these things and they're gonna oh you know what he didn't I'm a dork I'm a dork I'm a dork I'm a dork he didn't grab his club how's he gonna do anything if he doesn't have his club all right he got a club now he can club dyings Club, club, club away. I'll be in the club, bottle full of bud. Or was a bub, like bubbly. I think it was bub, bottle full of bub. It's been too long since I heard that song. Hey. Oh wow. Too much. Way too much fog. Let's go back to that. Edit. 
edit yeah we're just gonna remove that that's way too much fog I'll have to go in and create a new a new animation for it all right did it did it vanish on us it did vanish on us right because the fog came in threw me all off all right grab the club equip equip him optimize this would be moving but it's not right now good to go and it did vanish all right so now now what we're gonna do is look like I find something Nothing looks good. All right, let's just. Let's put a hole. All right, and now what I. Want to do. Okay, so I want to use this to respawn this every so often. So what I need to do is I need to edit this, get rid of this switch, and create... a variable or something. Control variable. Which I don't have... All right. Let's go to the database. Let's look at our, where do you set variables? That is, thoughts we did something here with that, but all right. So we go here and we go new, we go variable. One, okay, this is where we do it. All right, so we're gonna go row is hive. What do you call a, is it a rat's nest? Rat's nest, one. Okay, variable is gonna be zero. So now if I go, here and I go new uh, I need to do one range set add one okay apply Now we go back here and we edit this. New. No, nope. after the fact that we would, okay. So we're gonna go variable, has to be one. And then afterwards we're gonna make it Subtract one. All right, so I'm um, trying to sort this out, so bear with me here. We 
Yeah, we're gonna have to fight it to see if it actually works or not. So let's do that. Okay, I didn't do the event right. This event's going to auto run. Auto run. And now I can't move. Why can't I move? Edit. All right. All I did was set a variable. It should not make it where. All right, we're gonna make it parallel. It was weird. It wouldn't let me move once I got into the map for after I did that. Just from setting a variable. All right, now we're here. All right. It did what I wanted it to, which was spawn this. Oh, you know what? I did not... I'm a dork again. I'm so busy... You know, I'm, this is how I'm going to fix it for now. Actor, weapon. We're just going to have him start with the... Bone Spike Club for now. That way I don't have to keep doing that every time. Eventually I will change it so that you have to... Pick up the item and blah blah blah. But that's... Later. That's just to get the player started. Let's make sure it's equipped. It is. All right. Good, 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 good. Alright, so if one spawn, if zero don't spawn, that's what I messed up on, okay? Here we go, battle, battle, battle! changing the variable or I didn't set up the event right if the event is less than one huh so that's less than or All right, let's see here. Um, <clears throat> All right, let's see if we can make it where I changed it a little bit here. Let's see if that does anything. Let's 
It's not working the way I expected it to work. All right, let's go back. Ooh. Wonder if I could just control. Which is no, that's not going to work. I think it would be. I wonder if that's it because this is auto running and it's auto running to that. So then, okay, what I'm, okay, okay, okay. I think it's this event that's causing the problem. But, okay, that doesn't, that's not gonna work. Because if I set the here to, a, then I gotta be able to set it back. So what I need to do is This might be a little more complicated than I thought. So, all right, I'm going to have to research this a little bit. In the next video, I will go over all of it because I'm going to have to figure out how to do this for the way that I want the pacing the work to be there. So yeah, this is gonna be a little more complicated than I thought. I thought I'd just be able to set up a variable that, okay, if one spawn the event and then wait every like 30 seconds and then rerun the event, if it's zero, don't do anything. If it's one, respawn the event. And then on the event, if the event is gone, it lowers it down to zero, but if the event's there, it stays at one. That was kind of what I was hoping to do. So if you won the battle, it would change the variable to zero and get rid of the event, and then the timer would start again on the spawn spot. So it's not working exactly how I thought it was going to work, so let me sort it out, and uh, that'll be the beginning of the next episode so anyways until next video take care bye bye now static buzz out why you gotta be so difficult rbt maker mz mm -hmm. there's got to be a way to do this do it you can do it